Hi guys, welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. In today's video, which is the 22nd of this playlist, we'll add some legal pages in our domain and web hosting selling website. And for that, once again, we have to come to this website, uh, we, which we saw uh, this website one when we have learned to resell the VPS by integrating it with Volta for us. Under the support area and under the downloads uh, section, uh, we'll get some uh, modules available for WHMCS. Some programming hooks are also there, which is absolutely free of cost to download. These are currently uh, 13 add-ons uh, we get here. If we just create a free account here, we don't have to buy anything uh, from this website. We just have to create an account and after that we'll get access to some of these free add-ons and programming hooks. From here, I have downloaded these two modules uh, we need. First of all, we need this privacy policy uh, because we have to create this page. I downloaded it from here. And also, I will download this uh, second one also. Uh, we will need it in the next video. I guess maybe there is a problem with my internet connection. No problem, let's uh, download the second module in the second video, but for now, uh, let's extract this uh, module from here. For now, we had only one module to work on. Now, after this, we have to open it uh, from here and we have to open the folder, modules, add ons, and once again, we extract it from here. And let's uh, zip this file uh, folder. And now we have to log into our uh, C panel. I'll close it from here. Well, the internet has worked, uh, but as soon as uh, we closed, it started working. So I log into my C panel, and from here we have to go to the file manager. We have to go to the public underscore HTML modules add-ons, and from here we have to uh, click on upload. Select that file. And from here, we have to upload this uh, privacy policy. We have to upload this zip file. After that, uh, we will extract it from here. We have extracted this file. Now simply we have to log into our WHMCS admin panel. And first of all, uh, we have to activate this module by going to the system settings. For which we have to find uh, add on modules here. Here it is. Privacy policy, we got it uh, above from here. From here, we have to click on activate and then click on configure uh, this is a good option if you take this then it's asking for if you ever disable or delete this module in the future tables are created in the database they'll also get deleted and it's obvious that if you also want to delete then uh, there must be good uh, reason and you don't want to load any data on your database uh, history as well so by saving it in your database then you can simply take this module uh, from here after that you can check this uh, full administrator as well and click on save changes after that we get these two options from here earlier uh, we used to get only one which is volta now we uh, have to go to the privacy policy from here so our privacy policy page has been created uh, if we take a look here by simply going uh, this uh, sample page this is our uh, privacy policy but right now it's completely blank and if we click on this then 
so from here first of all we have to define our title uh, which will be the privacy policy i'll copy all these and now we have to generate our privacy policy and generating is not a ideal way especially in terms of legal uh, activities if you are going if you are thinking of doing any business on a large scale hosting business is uh, a big responsibility in itself then you are going to store your client's data to your server you uh, will need a different type of permissions and accesses from your client so it would be better if you mention everything in it and the best way uh, would be if you can afford that you can hire a lawyer and you can get these papers uh, from the lawyer it's privacy policy terms of service uh, disclaimer whatever it is uh, whatever you want to add get it written by your lawyer and mention it here but if you do not want to do that so whatever the reason is if you are just uh, doing this uh, startup and you want to uh, do standalone the lawyer will charge you a thousand dollars something for these documents so if you are not able to afford it currently at current state then you can use this website i myself generated uh, all my terms all my policies from this website uh, there are many websites uh, available you will write a free policy uh, privacy policy generator but all those are basic ones uh, they are true to the extent as if you are looking for a blog in which you can only get approval from google adsense or you can track the user through normal analytics then it is uh, just mentions that but i choose this website because it gives you an option like especially if you are uh, generating it for a limited or llc companies especially in the hosting business it is important to add some clauses like uh, in our policies like in our website there will be also uh, 18 plus content or any such content cannot be placed on our hosting on our servers we do not allow type of the betting things or adult content or anything if there is any content or illegal then we immediately disable the hosting account in such case this website will analyze your business type accordingly and create it for you so to do that uh, you simply need to click this start build your policy and here you have to enter your name and some of the details like email and create your password i also enter my email from here and create a password here we have to type the same password here again after that uh, i click on register it says password confirmation does not match so let me re-enter uh, and reconfirm the password I guess now everything is fine yes it is okay so I have to uh, come here to the dashboard and after that I have to click on make a new document here from here I have to create a privacy policy and for now i have to select and it's asking me if either it's uh, my app or a website so this is my website then from here i have to click on the company's name like uh, host trigger in our case host trigger llc uh, name of your website which is also host trigger uh, dot xyz basically we have to provide the url and from here i get some details like uh, what we'll collect uh, you have seen this uh, is the register form of whmcs we'll also collect uh, first name last name company yes uh, we collect in the whmcs there is an option uh, in that what cookies uh, does website uh, do on it yes we uh, use cookies in the future right now but we are not using any analytics do you send emails uh, yes we did and mailchimp i have selected uh, this option just like uh, payment details so yes we uh, we do accept payments so we have paypal stripe and right now uh, in the previous video we have added our last uh, payment gateway which is bitcoin 
and i have mentioned here that we do not show any ads here uh, in this way you have to adopt whatever option you select uh, do not share it uh, with other services we do not share any data in this uh, support at the rate uh, host trigger dot xyz and from here i select some options like this you can watch it comfortably uh, as it has many options this one i'll leave it as no i did not read it properly what uh, it is and here i'll also leave it as no uh, no is it's okay this option is okay okay we have taken our servers from germany only by default it has written germany it is asking us for email then uh, this is the same email which i have entered on the support email here i will enter the same email here and after that we have to click on this uh, create new privacy policy from here this is our document uh, we can edit uh, we want if we want it from here we can view it from here and in view we have two options like pdf or html we are currently uh, creating a page in our website so we need a html format so i have downloaded it from here now i open it in a notepad uh, from here and this is what i have opened i select all the text uh, all the html code from here and copy it and paste it uh, in the privacy policy page first we have to click on this source because we have copied the html so by clicking on this source we uh, can paste the html code from which we have copied uh, from our notepad file after that i clicked on uh, sort order one and if you want to make it to the other language then you can simply do that using the same website but at present i only prefer english and i click on the save changes from here and if i show it uh, to you guys by refreshing it then you can see the privacy policy uh, page ha has been generated and done very much properly if you have used any other free tool it would probably have done uh, not much uh, in detail and if you also mentioned the gdpr policies that we wanted so in this way you uh, you can generate and present your privacy policy i know this is uh, not the right way uh, in terms of uh, legal activities showing but it's also depend upon the affordability as well if you have unregistered business and you have to hire uh, so many lawyers then if you don't want to invest uh, you can simply generate it in this way and this generator is fine uh, means it did not generate a that bad document and it has generated one professional document for which we can uh, publish on a, our company whether it's llc or limited or any company any firm so that's all for uh, today's video and thank you so much for watching it